This short film contains a compilation of aerial clips filmed above Tapton Junction during June 2023. In this first clip, a pair of Class 47s can be seen topping and tailing a charter train. Tapton Junction lies just to the north of Chesterfield train station. Here, the line splits into two, with the Midland Main Line heading north into Sheffield and George Stevenson's original North Midland Line heading northeast up to Rotherham and Leeds. Stevenson bypassed Sheffield and followed the easier to navigate Rother Valley. Trains carrying construction materials are a common sight as trains from the Peak District quarries and Hope Cement Works pass frequently. Here a Class 66 locomotive can be seen heading a train of cement tankers heading for Earl's sidings near Hope. High speed trains were a staple on the North East South West Cross Country service for 41 years. This clip shows a cross country high speed train service heading southwest just weeks before services were withdrawn. Although due to be replaced by Hitachi Class 810s, Class 222 Meridians are the workhorse of the Midland Main Line between London and Sheffield. Due to several line closures on the day, this meridian has taken a detour via the Heriwash Valley and is now heading down towards Barrow Hill on another detour. Another charter train operated by a pair of Class 47s this time the locos are in double header formation as they work their way from Durham to Ely. Another Class 222, Meridian heads towards Sheffield along the usual route through Bradway Tunnel. Here, an unidentified Class 66 locomotive is hauling an empty coal train from Ratcliffe Power Station to Doncaster Decoy Sidings. Coal trains are not such a common sight these days. As far back as the history of the railways until the 1990s, coal trains were a regular sight at Tapton. The collieries of the Midlands and Yorkshire fed giant power stations and heavy industry around the clock. I'm Anthony, also known as Iron Horse Lover. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel on YouTube and my page on Facebook.